Heart disease is the number one killer in America. Now there's a new way to predict a heart attack years in advance. It's a simple new test that finds heart disease without looking at your heart. Instead, it looks at your fingers. Tonight, KCAL 9's Juan Fernandez shows us how it works. Heart attacks and heart disease are the number one killers of Americans. Now some say taking a simple test during a routine doctor's office visit can save your life by looking at the lining of your blood vessels. Endothelial function is the bomb. That's the money. Dr. Chris Renna of Lifespan Medicine in Santa Monica says blood vessel health can be easily checked with this, the endopat test. You could see endothelial dysfunction in 30 year olds and you could uh, prevent a lifetime of uh, distress and, you know, potential misery by correcting that. Ed Murphy is being treated by a different doctor. He doesn't have any heart disease symptoms, but wants to know if he's heading down the wrong path. I think it's like time to start checking and keeping an eye on things because I think, you know, heard after 50, everything goes downhill. Here's how it works. During Murphy's endopat test, doctors placed blood flow sensors on one finger of each hand. Then a blood pressure cuff was inflated to stop blood flow to one hand. After five minutes, the cuff was deflated and the finger sensors measured blood flow recovery. In the arm without the cuff, blood flow is steady. In a normal patient, you see blood flow stop with the cuff inflated inflated and then a rebound surge in blood flow. But during an abnormal test, blood flow only recovers to what it was before the stoppage. It is a warning sign of potential trouble in the heart. If it's not normal, then you have to do lifestyle modification, nutritional supplements and or medicines to help it become normal. Dr. Renna says simple lifestyle changes in weight, diet, exercise, and perhaps medication can hopefully restore normal blood vessel function and prevent a future heart attack or stroke. I'm Juan Fernandez, KCAL 9 News. There's plenty more news ahead next.